Hi guys, this is Janny from Yanomize and welcome back to the rap job. This is the quarterfinals and there's six rappers left. And then there was six. So well done, you guys are through to the quarterfinals. In this round, we're getting rid of another two. So Bert, what are we doing? We are joined by two BMW 5 Series saloons from BMW Park Lane. One on your right there in mineral grey, this side here, imperial blue. So the vinyl we're going to be using is Avery Dennison brushed aluminium. So just bear in mind, it's brushed aluminium. It's got lines in the vinyl. So think about that when you apply it to the car. I can't give you any more advice than that. So that's the vinyl. Thank you, Mark and Nico. What are they wrapping, Bert? So this time, you're going to be wrapping a bonnet on each of these cars. However, we've taken a little bit of the guesswork out for you. So if you notice, there's some cutting tape running down the middle of each of the cars. We know the vinyl is not wide enough to go across the whole bonnet. We're going to now pick who's pairing up with who and in what order you guys are going to go. You ready? All right, let's do the pick. Can we try and like mix them up this time? <laughs> All right, I'll go first. Mason, and you are alongside? Blue team, Radu. Radu. <laughs> Guys, go and get your tool belts and you will have 15 minutes to do the bonnets. You ready guys? The time starts now, good luck. You're coming up to having a minute so far. This one 16, this one 16 right here. So they need to cut the 16. If this one is 75, they can cut it enough. Watch that. Really? Cut this now. Cut it in half and use one inch. Turn it the right way. Time's ticking, guys. They're wasting a lot of vinyl. I think this should be enough. Yeah, but he's cut away. Look how much he's cut away already. You're only doing the half of the bonnet, yeah. which is no matter what, you're going to get that off. Cut. You've had four minutes, guys. You've got 11 minutes to go. We need to make a move on. Okay, let's get down. All right, so you've got 10 minutes 20. You're both on your bonnets now. Let's go. Step it up. What Nico's just said to me is they've helped each other to cut the vinyl. Yet why wouldn't they help each other to lay? It's a lot harder. It's a big piece. Nico's thought process. You've got nine minutes to go, guys. You've used six minutes so far. Too much heat. It's 
so that is uh, squeezing the vinyl down at the moment. The squeezy technique is very, very good. He's thinking about it, he's working correctly in the correct fashion. I think he's done this one good. He's done this very well. Yeah. Once you use heat on, on the brush aluminium, it's going to start distorting. Exactly. Especially when you stretch it, yeah. it's going to go different ways. So, yeah, it's yeah. nice that he's not using heat cannon this way. Keeping the vinyl correct until he has to put a heat on it. Yeah. on that one, it's gonna go everywhere the line. So it's, you see like stretch me straight away. I feel bad, I'm gonna go watch him. Oh, you stand there, watch my guy, you really watch my guy. Think him out. You see what I mean but you see what I mean. You see the lines. Yeah. So we've come over to have a look at what Mason's doing compared to Radu. Are we getting in their heads? Who knows? I'm not here. Wait, can I blame it on that? Three minutes thirty, Mason. I want to see them pull the cutting tape. I want the cutting tape full. But, but. Mason Radu, hear what I'm going to say. I want to see the cutting tape pulled before the three minutes is up. You hear me, Radu? You hear me, Mason? Two minutes. One minute thirty. Minute fifteen, Mason. Plenty of time. Don't worry, we'll get it. We'll get it. Forty seconds. 30 seconds left. I'm never going to cut. It's got a bit crumpled bit at the bottom. Kind of take one cut through that. It needs to be smooth. So you can cut it on the edge. We're done. That's it. Heat guns off, guys. Heat guns off. Yeah, okay. We are more confident than before. Uh, he is. Uh, I don't know if I am. I never used anything like that. We are not nervous. Uh, and we're going to go crack it on. I found it quite tough, actually. To be fair, I thought the bonnet was going to be the easiest. but uh... Pretty easy. It's much easier than the door. Yeah, the confidence level has grown up. It's a bit more, a bit more high than before. I think mine's just taking a bit of a knock after that. But uh, we'll, see, we'll see what they say. Loads of stretch marks. Finals damaged. Scratches. It could have come further down, it could have come into here. Yeah. 
when he pulled the string, he cut the vinyl on the bottom part of the bumper. Split the vinyl. Nice, clean on the cutting tape as well. Took it out, pushed the edge right back down as well. Yeah, good. With brushed aluminium, if you get your fingerprints underneath, it marks the vinyl so it looks like there's a dent on the panel, which is not. For 15 minutes, we've got one stretch here where he's lifted it up. Mm -hmm. he struggled. That's not easy vinyl to work with. So next up in the blue team is Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> Nico, try and avoid Becky. See if you can do that. All right, let's see. And alongside Thomas for the red team is Nomi. Okay. So if you head over and go and get your Avery Dennison tool belt, when you come back, you will have 15 minutes. Off you go. The time starts now. Good luck. Flip that over. He measured into the middle of the bonnet, the corner comes up. Yeah, so no. it's going to be short. But that's why I'm asking if she knows. Yeah, that's right. Seems like he's controlling it. Tight. Tight. Okay, they're laying together. There's a bit of pull on it. It'll be fine. Is Naomi going to take charge of her own destiny? That's right, so. It's going to be fine. You've had four minutes, you've got 11 minutes to go. I think they've got this bag on. So far, so good. Seen it herself. <sighs> She's seen it. She's seen it. The vinyl's folded underneath on this side of the car. And only hasn't seen it. When she goes, she's going to realise. Nine minutes to go, nine minutes. Okay, slow your action down.
Eight minutes to go. So Tom started well. They both started well. Helped each other out, cutting the vinyl and actually laying onto the car as well, which is nice to see because it is a two-person job, really. You can't really be laying it by yourself. Doing well. We've had half the time, seven minutes 30 remaining. The problem is she still has some sort of that corner out and now she keeps laying the line on. She hasn't got enough to pull it with. Just so you know guys, we are expecting to see the cutting tape cut. Brush tape, no joke, is it? Brush tape is not no joke, man. This is why I was making the she's right at the edge of the bonnet. She's struggling to finish, because she's got enough to pull. So the top's fine, but it's the bottom corner. Just under three minutes. Two minutes, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. The wire's on the couch. Five seconds. That's it. I think it worked well at the start when we trimmed the material sort of a bit closer to the bonnet and we glassed it out really well together. Just a shame that my vinyl got caught underneath itself so I spent a couple of minutes picking it away but hey ho. My vinyl also got folded back on itself but I couldn't get it off so I just continued and I used the knifeless and cut a few edges. I think right. she got more trimmed than I did with my squeegee and I was a bit quick so I had to lift it up and restart it a couple of times. but. Managed to save the day. If I was to do this again, I'd take a bit more time at the start when squeegeeing out instead of trying to be more aware of what the time is. Just slow down and be a bit more patient with it. Even if I get less done, just have it down first time correctly. But it didn't go the way I wanted it to, but we'll see. I wish I checked the vinyl before I started laying it down to notice that the, the edge was tucked under. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll get through to the next round. Something that I pointed out very early was that the vinyl had been folded under when they laid it. Who was to blame? Was Tom to blame? or was Naomi not checking when they laid it together, but I could see it. Obviously this is why this section now is all crumpled. She should have left more space so she could have pulled it over. And then if you pull it here, as you can see, look, this is where it's folded over. So there wasn't enough on the bonnet. Didn't pull it out. So that's where it's folded over. But she's laid it down, which hasn't given her anything to stretch, but we've brushed marks easy. The lines can get, Stretch marks distorted very, very easy. For me, when you're doing that, 
pull it off, finish it, done. You know, if you think about it, then you, can, you don't have to go back to it. Because if you forget to go back, it's left there. Yeah. Cutting tape's quite good, yeah? Laid well. So listen, she's done okay. She's done okay. This, this, this was a shame, but she didn't spot it. The panel looks nice. He laid it all, no stretch. No stretches. He struggled with this one, which is... Is that bit there stretch? A little tiny stretch, I think, there. At the end of the day, this is her bonnet and that's his. So it's down to her to be responsible for her bonnet. So if something goes wrong, she needs to call the shots and she needs to be like, this is what we need to do. The same way on that side. If you work with a team member, you need to be on the same page. They weren't. Okay. All right, overall, decent job. The final heat of round three, the quarterfinals. Obviously you're both standing there, but let's make sure. I've got Becky. And Adam. Adam, step forward. So guys, head over and go and get your Avery Dennison tool belt. Good luck. Right, there's 15 minutes on the clock, and your time starts now. Seems like a lot. Good thing too. Cut and cut. Cut and cut. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. She's cutting for him. She's directing him, that's his car. should be taking care of it, it's his car. I'm going to see what happens now, she's going to take care of him again. She seems like she's rushing all the time. She saved it, just before it drops. Yeah, see? You've used two minutes, guys. You've had three minutes, guys. 12 minutes to go. So, they've worked together to cut the vinyl, measure, do whatever they've got to do. Um, Becky's taking charge on both parts, which they like to look at oh, what's going on here. All the stretch marks. I don't understand why they don't use gloves. For me, gloves are important. Yeah. Ten minutes. You've had five minutes now. Ten minutes to go. Take your time, Becky. Take your time. You've got plenty of time, yeah? 
Don't rush it. Eight minutes to go, eight minutes to go. We're looking for quality, remember, yeah? Can we pop the, pop the bonnet the whole way up? It's open, it's popped already. Oh. She's very good. Made the panel well. Cutting tape was excellent. From what I can see, there's no stretch marks. There's no damage in the vinyl. So far, so good. So, Five minutes thirty odd left. I think it's actually doing alright. It's getting the bonnet laid quite well, staying away from the heat gun, so he's, he's doing absolutely everything correct. I have spotted a, a stretch mark already, but I want to get a little bit closer to, to double check that. See how he finishes, if we can get some bits cut on this as well, we'll see how he does. Five minutes remaining, guys, five minutes. Got the cutting tape just over the cutting tape by a little bit. He's leaning over the bonnet, there's tool belts at the front as well. So every time he leans over, the tools hit the paintwork. Four minutes. Make sure you're happy with that half. Remember, it's not about speed, it's about the quality. That's what I'm going to be looking at. hot in here. <laughs> I think it went all right. A lot more confident this round. We discussed some tactics that we were going to use together beforehand, measuring together, cutting it together, because obviously the vinyls is quite a large amount of vinyl to use. And I think that really helped us both yeah, out at the start. definitely helped out. Laying down the vinyl and that couple parts, like, because I'm a little bit short, is very hard to reach. And I think it was good with our communication as well, like just making sure that all the body part was 
covered and yeah, covered. definitely kept the communication yeah. going. So I didn't take a look, but yeah, looking at it right now, yeah, she done really well. She just like flew through that bonnet. Yeah, and I but think she still has some time to spare. So <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, it's also about the quality, not just how fast you can get it done. Confidence levels is actually like same as every every round. Let's just see what the boss has got to say. Confident enough to ask about the second side, even though I'm about quality. Um, but when we look around this, you can't see any stretch marks. There's no real damage in the runner. There's a tiny little thing here that looks like a dent, and that's what happens when you push your finger through a little bit too much. She dictated what he was doing here as well. So she was telling him, go left, go right, do this, do that. Didn't open the bonnet. Open the bonnet for me. That was disappointing. You had so much time. She got time as well. Yeah, she was well ahead of the time. Did you notice every time he was leaning on the car, the tools hitting the car every time. That side, here, that side, hit it about four or five times. You grab the panel, well, forget, it, forget even wrap the panel, you're going to damage paint work. You're going to damage the work that you've already done. But he didn't realise because his pouch was at the front. He went to the back. Um, and she's just finished on the edge, which it's, it's risky because the vinyl can lift if you finish on the edge. But overall, very, very good job. Very, very good job. He's got all the tools to be able to do the job. Yeah, just yeah. needs to get upstairs correct and he'll be great. It wasn't the greatest, at least she laid the right way, you didn't get that scratching noise. He disappointed me, he really did disappoint me on that one. I think he struggled with his nerves. Credit where credit's due, she was very good. I thought he would do well, especially with previous rounds, how well he has done. He struggled. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. That was the quarterfinals. Brushed aluminium bonnet on the BMW with the Avery vinyl. Wasn't easy, was it? If you haven't used that material before, it can cause you issues, especially with the cutting tape as well. I need to put four of you through to the semi-finals, which means two more of you have to go. One from the red team and one from the blue team. You ready? You ready? No. <laughs> well, let's do it anyway. Okay, let's do it. So if you get called and your name comes up, well done and head upstairs. <sighs> Want to go first or shall I go first? I'll go first. Ladies first. Okay. First person making it into the semi-finals from Team Blue, Radu. Well done. Well done, Dave. Really well done. Well done, mate. That was a good round. Well done. So the first person to go through on Team Yaniko and the red team is Becky. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Head upstairs. So, there's four of you left. One of you have to go. One of you have to go. Anything you want to say before we make this next? Good luck. It's very um, sportsman like. You I've too. I've been to get into top 12. So, my bonus rounds have already come. So, I've enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. So whatever happens, I'm still happy. I'm still going to go back home, back to my garage and keep doing back of the what I love doing and I won't stop. That's nice words, but we don't even know who's through or not, but it's still nice words. Tom? Thank you for the opportunity. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I didn't expect to get as far as this. Your two are much nicer than my two. Can we swap? They were just like, yeah, good luck. Well, on that basis, I'm going to get rid of mine first. <laughs> so the next person heading into the semi-finals, which means the other person is going home. But this person is through and into the semi-finals. Congratulations. Naomi. Well done. Well done, hon. Last person joining the rest into the semi-finals. From Team Blue, Team Bark. Thomas, well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done, brother. Really well done, mate. I think Thomas. Thomas is gonna go through. Yes! Yeah. 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 Well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay.
come a long way, man. From where you started with, it was a bit shaky, a bit of attitude and stuff like that. Totally changed as a person as the rounds went through. And I look at you as a different man now. Very humble. The process was fantastic for you. And I think, I think you've grown a lot. I really enjoyed it. So thank you both. Appreciate it. No problem at all. Hopefully we'll see you guys at the final. Okay. Come down, show some love and support. Um, but sorry to say you guys are going home. I'm definitely happy with how, how far I came. Um, not so happy with the way I performed. I think I could have done better, but everyone here is so, so amazing, especially the girls as well. So definitely encouraged me to kind of rap more. Not so uh, sure about the cameras, but I'm definitely going to look to carry on rapping and, and make something out of it. Highlights definitely, probably initially getting chosen out of everybody in, during the video phase, and my low light was definitely that last rap. I think it was uh, my performance was a bit rubbish. Being involved with the production has been great. Every, everyone around is kind of friendly. There's no kind of like awkward downtime or anything. And Yanni and Bert, they make everyone feel like part of the family, whether you're here for a day or, or get as far as we do, or even to the final. When we're out back, we're just sitting down having a chat as if, you know, we've known each other for sort of, you know, 20 years. So it's been, it's been great to be a part of that. And that's something that I will miss. It's been a great journey. I didn't think that I would make it this far anyway. I thought from the auditions, yeah, I wouldn't even make it to top 12. And I really enjoyed it. I got more further than what I expected. Unfortunately, in the last um, round, didn't perform as good as I wanted to perform. My highlights here was definitely the auditions. Um, half of the people didn't like it, half of the people did. But I just had to make a little bit of an impression just so that I get through to the final stages. I'm not used to time limits on, on my work. I normally do take my time. I think it's one of the biggest experiences of my life, especially of my own rapping career. I've only been um, rapping for one year now, so being over here at this stage in front of so many cameras, in front of Yanni and Bert and a lot of people viewing it is a big experience for me and hopefully I can push on from here and make some improvements. So that was the quarterfinals. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they've all done so well to get to this point, but it can only be two into the final. Well, the next video you guys are going to see is the semi-finals and we're down to four. Plenty of time, guys. It's like chaos sitting here at the minute. And I told them, and I told them, really, really angry. They both deserve to be in the final. I don't want to be you right now, mate. I know what I'm going to do.